whether it's your first child coming to prep or your last child coming to prep, the first year of school is an important and exciting step for your family. As a parent, there are many things that you can do to help your child get ready for the first year of prep. For the past five years, you have been your child's main educator. Now it's time for them to extend on their skill set and that is what the first year of prep will offer your child. As a parent, it's really important to help your child build on their resilience and their sense of being a participant in a community. In order to promote resilience in your child, your child needs to learn how to regulate their emotions. Things will happen in a community of prep and your child will need to learn the skills in order to solve certain situations independently or with the assistance of their teacher. It's okay to be angry, it's okay to be sad. What's important is being able to move through those emotions and have a positive day. As a parent, I know it's hard to watch your child take a risk. However, it's important for their growth and development and their long-term confidence. In the months leading up to your child's first year of school, there are some things that you can do as a parent to help your child feel comfortable and ready to take the first step. Driving past the school, walking through the school, having your child meet their new classroom teacher and possibly getting a photo of your child with their new teacher. Can your child recognise their lunchbox? Can they open their lunchbox independently? Are they able to close it and put it in their bag? Can they carry their bag on their back? unaided and unassisted. Can your child hold a pencil using the correct pencil grip? Many times children come to prep holding their pencil this way or even this way. However, these pencil grips can be very restrictive on their movements with their wrists. Teaching a child how to hold their pencil correctly can help develop good handwriting skills. One thing I tell parents in the months leading up to prep, it is a good idea to have your child minimise on their daytime sleeps so that when they do come to school, that they can feel more ready to be alert and prepared to be awake for the whole school day. I hope I've provided you with some tips to help you to get your child ready for school. Are you ready for your child starting school? If you are confident and relaxed, your child will follow through the same. If we can assist in any way, please contact Holy Spirit School.